Hi, my name is Peter, and I'm a developer here at Rack Foundry. I'm really excited to be showing you Rack Foundry's new Total Security Management Setup Wizard. With our new setup wizard, it's never been faster to get your platform set up and begin monitoring events on your environment. Now, the first step in completing the setup wizard is going to be to create a user. And in this case, we're just going to fill out this form and create a new username, which is going to be RF user. And now we're going to enter our email address, which is going to be user at rackfoundry.com. We're not going to create a password initially, but when we submit this form, we'll receive an email at the address we put asking us to set that password. Now I'm going to create my first name, RF, and my last name, user. And here I can change some of the other settings if I want to. For now, I'm going to leave my role as administrator, meaning I can change, edit, and view everything on the platform. But if, for example, I wanted someone only to be able to view the data, I could set this role to read only. Next, we're going to add a location. A location describes where your network exists physically. For us, this location is going to be our office. So I'm just going to write office here. Now, when you plug in your location, feel free to either enter your business name, if it exists on Google Maps, or the actual address and press look up. We'll route your information through the Google Maps API and found exactly where your business is located. Feel free to leave the subnet section blank for now. When we create a network in the next step, we'll be able to assign that network this location. So now with this form complete, let's click Add Location. Next up, we'll be adding the actual network that exists at the location we just provided. For us, this network is just going to be named Office Network, as that's exactly what it is. Next up, you'll choose your network type, either IPv4 or IPv6. For us, we're going with the version 4 option, and we're going to fill in our network's IP address under the definition section. For us, that's just 192.168.66.1, or whatever your network address is. Don't forget to choose the correct subnet mask. For most networks, this will be 255.255.255.0. You can see that location has already been pre-filled as office. And that's exactly what we want. Now that we've created our network, it's time to schedule an asset scan and have your TSM platform automatically detect all devices that are connected to that network. We're first going to add a quick description. For us, it's going to be first asset scan, since it's the first one that we're doing. When it says choose appliance, choose whatever you've named your TSM platform when you initially set it up. For us, that was TSM but choose whatever you selected. For target, choose the network we just created. Ours was Office Network, but again, choose whatever network that you just created in the previous step. Feel free to leave start date blank. That'll allow this asset scan to start immediately. With our form fully filled out, we can go ahead and select Schedule Scan. After we've completed setting up our asset scan, it's time to choose our compliance options. If your business has a specific compliance that it needs to meet, select that compliance from the list below and click Save to enable TSM to start tailoring its behavior towards meeting that compliance. If you don't have any compliances that you need to meet, feel free to leave this sheet blank and just select Save, which we'll do now. Finally, it's time for our last step, scheduling a network scan, which will detect and help us remedy any network vulnerabilities that it finds. First, we're going to give our scan a name. We're just going to call it vScan for short. Next, we'll select a target. In this case, our target is going to be the network that we created. Ours is called Office Network, but select whatever network you created in the network step. Finally, it's time to choose a type. I'm not going to go over the type options in detail here. But if you want to know more about the Vulnerability Scanner and what you can do with it, feel free to check out our videos at youtube.com slash rackfoundry. Now I'm going to schedule the scan, and it'll start running immediately. And that's it. Our initial TSM setup is complete. It's never been so easy and so fast to be secure. I hope that this video was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.